Here we are, back on the street again. Uh, this is uh, Youth Central here. I think this is a great young couple. I really like these guys. I enjoyed them tremendously. 18 years old and 20 years old. He's a, um, a, a mechanic working on jet airplanes uh, at the military base. And she's, a, she's just a spunky little waitress. I loved her. And um, you can tell they loved each other. I could tell by the size of the hickey on his neck. Ah, youth. But uh, this is good. This is good. It's, I mean, you want to check. Again, it's just uh, they're not lost. They're not all lost. You keep on going through my videos, and you're going to see that, you know, they, we're not lost. They, there's a lot of youth out there that... Uh, haven't got their nose stuck in the iPhone or so wrapped up in themselves that they you know, have lost perspective and not uh, unaware or don't care about what's around them. It's not true. Uh, we got some really good people, good uh, good young adults out there that that are questioning and want a future, and uh, I hope they get it. And I think they, these two at least see the see the game that's being played, and they're searching for answers. And uh, I think they're going to do good at that. But let's get into this one. And in the meantime, of course, the drill. You know the drill. If you all like this, of course you'll like it. And if you care, you'll share because sharing is the way that this gets out. We know we can't count on. Anything else right now? I mean, we really, we can't count on the uh, masters of the universe to go ahead and raise anybody's consciousness. So it is up to you to do that. So uh, get, on, get, get out there and share this around, put it on whatever platforms you, that you have. And of course, uh, last but not least... Go get something or contribute. I have the GoFundMe. I have a Patreon. I've been a little bit, you know, once a month which is, is nice. Um, but uh, I really enjoy it when people get my merchandise. Because then I know other people are going to see uh, and question. So, here we go. I shall see you on the streets. Yeah, I, I, I like sitting here in this liberal cesspool and, you know, kind of <laughs> okay, well, poking the uh, poking them in the eye, you know. Well, since, uh, since, since, okay, since there's politicalness, what do you think is going to happen to Trump since uh, his homeboy got locked up? Nothing. So Nothing? Bunch of, it's a bunch. It's, I mean, look how many fails they've had so far. Yeah. I mean, if I'd be embarrassed and ashamed, but they don't have any shame. Right. So they just, every time something comes up, it's like, Oh, we got him right. now! We got him now! And of course, nothing comes out about it. And then they go they on. They sit and talk about it for and a the, week. And then, and then, they, and the then they just recycle the next crisis. Russia, Russia, or he's a racist. or It's just the same. You know what it is. It's the same yeah. old crap over they got Keep nothing. people watching, pretty yeah. much. See, I watch this uh, Ben Shapiro or Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I'm leery of him. Yeah. I'm leery of him. Yeah, I, I mean, I just like how he... he yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's got that presentation that could suck you in. He's a howitzer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, right? But I, I like how he has to say because he, he, he gets right to the point, really. I yeah, he, as I said, he's, you know, it's right there. He's not a showman. He's just... A grinder, just to, to, to eat and, it. And like, I, I don't know if you remember, there's these 17 school shootings, there's really only like three or four, and, and it's all just this. Yeah, blue. but you got to beware of the false prophets, as it were. Exactly. I mean, I have a go. Well, I take everything with a grain of salt because you can't. I mean, right. You know, are you an Alex Jones listener also? Do you? Uh, I, I have listened to it before, and that I, I see, I still like really learning about politics. I'm young, I'm 20, yeah, 21. Yeah, sure. So I'm still trying to really dictate what I am. I, I mean, like. Exactly. So, I, like, I don't harp on people with their political views. Fuck, as long as it's not a terrorist in office and the United States keeps moving, 
I'm doing meat. Well, yeah. That's not bad. Well, it's, I'll tell you, the meat gets you, the best thing to do is watch some documentaries. Yeah, exactly. That kind of brings you to zero, 16, 2.2 seconds. Okay. Okay. And read a book or two. Yeah. Um, if you haven't watched the documentary Thrive, Thrive, okay. I highly recommend that. Okay. That's a uh, you familiar? Ever heard of Procter and Gamble? Yeah. Yep. Yes, I am. They're one of the biggest conglomerates in the world. Okay. Foster Gamble, heir to the vast wealth fortune, has an epiphany as a young man, yeah. and he goes, "Wait, I'm surrounded by insane people." Exactly. This is so he breaks from the agenda of the elites. And he makes his stock. Oh, you do believe in elites. Okay. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. See, my, my friend Dylan has been telling me about all these elites. Like, they're, yeah. they're not telling us things. And that. Oh, yeah. And what he does is exposes who's really running things. Okay. All right. And he does it in a way that's very easy to understand. He just maps it out. It starts with the international bankers, and then it goes and flows down. Because I was always thinking to myself, you know, after World War II, we had these suburbs. Right. And, it, and what I think is just to keep control of the people. You're right. It's always about control. You're going to go far. You're, gonna, you're on the right path. Here's an excellent, excellent book to read. This a this will bring you really up to speed. The killing of Uncle Sam. Okay, I'm not... The Mines of the United States of America. Okay. You can get this off of uh, InfoWars. Okay. So if you go to their site and get it. But I, this really gets into naming names, the organizations, the people behind the scenes, and how they operate. Okay. This okay. is an extremely, extremely good book to read that will make you a professor <laughs> in geopolitics okay. in no time at all. Yeah, because it is a big thing nowadays, politics and religion. I love really. it. I love it. Well, There's the so revolution. Much There's so much drama. Yes, yes. That's my favorite thing. It's like it's always something okay. fun oh. that's going on around you. Fuck it. You're watching I'm, politics. There's enough juice in it for a week. That's why I can't get interested in watching fantasy anymore. The reality is so much more interesting of what's going down once you start getting behind the scenes and going beyond what these guys try to so tell you. So what do you think would have happened if Kennedy wouldn't have died? John? Mm, that's an interesting question. Uh, because he was... He was one of those guys, although it came from a very criminal family, was yes. part of the, uh, the the mob. Yeah, yeah, and goes beyond even. It, yep. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he was trying to bring uh, bring back a currency that had value. Yeah, that's the exactly. real reason they killed him. Nothing could be backed up anymore. Like I, I've exactly. been investing in silver and gold. There you go. I'm trying to, and it's a little expensive, but. People always tell them, uh, especially my grandma. Just like, get a man. little each one. Yeah. Just, I, that's what I do. I get, you know, I'll maybe get 35, 50. I'll get a, you know, a, a little silver. Yeah. Right? And put it away every month. Just and after a while, it'll stack up, man. Oh, yeah. So then when you get a little extra, buy a little extra. Exactly. But you know, that's it. Just put it away. Because eventually it's going to come in handy. Yeah, because our currency is not going to be worth anything yeah. after a while. I think so, because the times are getting tough again. If a guy doesn't know anything, he sure knows a lot. <laughs> uh, I just listen a lot. My, uh, my grandfather, he's a gamble, actually, as well. I was about to say. Uh, he's, you know, he told me a lot you know, about the elites and then how... Uh, how things were ran and how things are really being run, but you just don't see it because right. they're, they're keeping us in a very tight. But I think I'm, I'm seeing an awakening. I just spoke to some guys from Brazil. Oh, okay. And the same thing is happening down there that's okay. happening here. I mean, it's the same consciousness. They see through the BS. They can see that it is indeed international. Exactly. You know, conglomerates and bankers and companies that are trying to manipulate and control us and put us into a one-world government. I, I was just about to say, uh, Oklahoma, they're trying to push uh, Sharia law already. Yeah. And uh, definitely not. Yeah, this, uh, I think it's, it was in Minnesota also. Yeah. And Michigan's got another big, uh, yep. you know. We know what it is. You've heard of Cloward and Piven? Yeah, yeah, yeah I have. So, I'm, it's just my grandfather. He's like, uh, I'm just. He, he was talking about also about uh, not liberals, but uh, uh, there's so many political 
Yeah. Uh, parties but, nowadays, it's not even funny. Well, they try to, they fraction it up and put yeah. us into boxes yeah. and keep everybody fighting with one another. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, so of that, course, we always need the drama. We always have. Uh, yeah. Uh, Indeed. I, I read something about... America uh, would be too boring without something to talk about. Uh, <laughs> not worrying Harrelson, but uh, the guy that played King Penn... Ah, uh, shoot. What's his name? But he said something about how... The system is, it's like, he, he said something about how it's so bad, how we're gonna, how is anyone gonna uh, power up to stop it because it's just so bad. Well, well eventually it'll crumble of its own accord. Oh, All yeah. corruption eventually crumbles of its own accord. It's right, that's why it, it, this said, happens constantly. Over a span of years, it'll crumble and then we'll rebuild. It'll well, crumble said, again. We'll thing. rebuild. He said something about one world government. That's, that's what it'll come down to. Of course, now they, of course, Hitler would have a wet dream with the technology we have today. Oh, oh for real. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, and that's I bet you he's spinning in his grave. That's like, the biggest know. thing right now. Do you, is think, the, do you I, think he really did escape the Argentina? He burned himself in a ditch. No, he didn't. I believe that. Uh, there's uh, evidence that he did escape. Yeah, the, uh, exactly. Because, yeah. okay, I had a foreign exchange student. They, they're even scared today to talk about Oh, sure. They're still scared today. Yeah. And it's oh, almost 100 years. I know. I know they're. It's you know, uh, but again, they can't stop the truth. Right. It ain't happening. This right. Is a, this is goes. This goes beyond them. One of the having the internet allowed us to go. And once that yeah, Pandora's box is open. Oh yeah. Then oh, you, the right to know act. Yes. And now, well, okay. the powers of be are always going to go ahead and try to manipulate the uh, and any system to their advantage. Right. So the uh, people like Soros will start funding groups okay. that will form form a chaos and division. Then he can come in. They can come in and take advantage of that chaos as the saviors. Okay, because so uh, it's kind of like uh, one organization. It's not ISIS. It's that uh, it starts with an A. I think. Antifa. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. Okay, yeah. that makes more sense. They go shit up to fix it. Yeah, and well, Antifa yeah. is almost exactly like the brown shirts of, okay. of Nazi Germany. They're there to formate and be used as pawns by the powers brokers to create division and uh, and chaos again. So then they can come in as they can put in, you know, martial law, come in with the troops and go, okay, now we're going to take over and, you know, and have peace, which right. never, of course, happens. Things get worse. And to be honest with you, like, I always broke down the, like, the... Uh, not the amendments, but also the, the Constitution, you know, we the people. No, back then it was we the rich white people, pretty much, was it? Well, I feel that's no, that's more now than still, it was back then. I feel like it was just people. Well, that actually goes the, beyond that. Yeah. Right. It goes beyond that. This is, and now, again, all we go through phases. I mean, look where we've come in the past hundred years, or look where I've come in my life. When I first hit the South, I had people out of sitting at the back of the bus and they had... You Wait, know. still? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, no, no, so that's I, well, I was still kind of surreal to it me. Was a, I know. But so, I mean, in a short span of time, we've we've come, you know, Over, there were yeah. a lot of the founding fathers that lived in the conditions of the time and accepted the norms of the time, yeah, ex- but exactly were eliminating norms. and saw history on its march and were eliminating slavery. See, see they were the ones that were trying to go ahead because when you, if you take the Constitution for what it is, it leaves the door open for us to take control. Exactly. That's why they writ- written how it was and yeah. we put it forth amendments and that because we did see that, hey, at the time, those with the norms, now it's not acceptable or it needs to be kind of tweaked up. Yeah, I mean, what did Benjamin Franklin say when the woman walked up to him after they signed the declaration, right? It, oh. What did you do in there? Well, we formed a republic if you can keep it. Uh, okay. it so, so in order to keep this republic... Citizens got to remain vigilant and involved. So exactly. God bless you, two of you, yeah. for being there. Yeah. I, like I said, my grandma said, you know, don't even watch the news, but try to be involved and get to know today's... That's what's uh, scary about my generation, me being 18 years old. Everybody's 
but yeah. they're focused on the wrong shit. They're focused on the That's how they're getting biased opinions and not opening up to whatever the broad picture. We're just like, oh fuck Trump. But then Trump's they believe anything. Up. Fuck Trump, you know. Yeah. But then they're gullible enough to believe anything. Yeah, they hear it yes. one time. They hear one side and they're like, that's what I believe, rather than hearing all the sides or even attempting to Well, you to just mentioned it. Once they get into that screen, yeah, it's it, that is a capture. That right there is mind control. See, I always thought to myself, there's got to be something more than what's going on, really, to our sure there to our there. eye, because they're not going to give out all the information. Uh, my friend Dylan was telling me, you know, stuff about the elites. You about ready to go? Hold on, hold on. I got one more thing. Uh, but he's also telling me something about, uh, like, some people, like, uh, you know... Stevie Ray Vaughan, they didn't really die, they went to this, uh, what is it, like the journey to the center of the earth, that's a formality of itself about, uh, there's a, definitely another, and well, now you're really going down some rabbit holes, oh, but, I mean, but, you want to listen to guys like Steve and Quayle, yeah, and, okay. and all that, the, the, these guys get into realm, other consciousness levels yeah, exactly, of reality, that's always you know, oh, interesting, yeah, but take one step at a time, right, it's hard exactly. enough just to deal with this reality, oh, uh, exactly. before you, here you go, here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton, Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. This okay. is good for any crime in the world. Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, check out my YouTube channel oh, on the I back. Will. Okay. I you see a lot of these conversations I have out here. Yeah. And if you like to, if you want to really piss off liberals, you can get a lot of my designs in apparel. Definitely. Okay. Can, can we order these off? Yes. Okay. okay cool. Good. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't agree with what she did. I just made a, a new, I got it from one of my sub subscribers who gave me this idea. Okay. It's a t-shirt. Protecting us. Oh, oh, my, my <laughs> brother's a Marine. So. You work on those? Uh, I don't work on those, but I've worked on B uh, C-19s. I worked on, uh, on like, I, I didn't work on it, but I was on an old B-52. Wow. Wow. Uh, but I have worked on some aircraft like that. I work on 707s, you know, Boeing, uh, Boeing aircraft. So wow, anywhere Terrific. from a 727 to a 777. So oh, come on. All right, guys. You nice guys, talking. Talking.